answer that for people, or at least my opinion. Um, so the height of your track bar really is your side bite in the car. The higher it is, right, it frees your car up because it unhooks the rear of the car. It doesn't necessarily make, it might be faster for you that day because the front's not working, so you at least get the car balanced so it's not super tight or super loose. Um, and the lower it is in the car, the more it puts the rear tires into the track. Uh, so so as, as you do your different setups, and there's a million different platforms you can work on and combinations you can do that work, I run my stuff pretty level. Uh, my baseline's 10 and 10, and then I work from there. If I need side bite, I start dropping it down. I, I only move my right side maybe an inch before I start moving the left side. I generally don't just move the left side. Um, Reasoning be, uh, if I lower the right side, it's gonna put grip in the rear end. It'll hook up the left rear, put it more in the track, mainly rolling center and off. Like if you start feeling like you're free rolling center up off the corner, if I drop the right side, it'll hook it up. If I raise the right side a half inch to an inch above center, it'll unhook the left rear some. Um, if I raise the whole thing, you know, if I go more than an inch and I still am too tight and need to unhook the rear end, then I raise the whole thing just so I don't get a ton of rake in it. Um, now some people, they'll run three, four inches of split in their rep, rep track bar. They'll have the left side up in the tin, 12, 13 inches in the air, and the right side down at seven inches. And that'll pin the right side of the car for them, you know? And so they're not just doing the rear end, what they're doing is it's kind of like a catapult, or a pole vault, I should say. Uh, you drive off in the corner and the car wants to pick the left rear up over the top of the track bar, and it pins the right front, and it builds the right front load in the car. Um, and so that's part of their, their whole platform they're working on um, is they're using the track bar to keep load in the right front of the car to keep it turning and at the same time unhook the left rear getting in. Um, and then as they go to the gas, you know, it, it'll, it'll put some drive in the car at the same time. To me, it just, there's a lot of things you gotta do to offset that, you know, in your whole package to make it work. Now, if you have a combination that works with it, great. Uh, for me, I. I typically stay pretty flat with my track bar. If I need side bite, like I said, I start dropping in it. If I need uh, if I need to unhook the rear because it's just overpowering the front end, I'll start raising the whole thing up. If you go to a track that's really grippy, um, it got a lot of banking, you don't need the track bar so low because the banking will carry you. So you can raise it up and it'll get you more of a balance. Uh, you go to a place that's got no grip and real flat and you struggle with side bite where the rear end's just not on top of the track, you can start really lowering it down and build grip. Uh, for the rear tires, um, so it's it's a situational deal. It depends on your whole everything you're doing, springs, sway bar, how you tie the whole car together. Um, so there's not really a set answer of like this is how you got to be. Um, I run it flat, like I said, I run it flat, you know, and, and that's my reasoning is that uh, if I start moving, it, putting a lot of angle in it, I feel like my stuff gets pinned on the right front, and especially if you're running center pull stuff you already feel pinned on the right front because the left or trailing arm so high in the car that it wants to shove the car over. Or if you're a guy that, that runs tons of left or trailing arm angle and then you run a bunch of track bar angle, the car just gets stuck on the right front. Um, you can use that to make the car turn, but there's a lot of other ways you can do the same thing. You can run a softer right front spring and a bigger right front stop. Uh, it just depends. You know, If you can't run stops, then maybe that's the crutch you use to keep the front loaded up. Um, so there's, like I said, there's not an exact, you know, this is how you got to be. Um, and it's, like I said, it's your whole package, what you base it around. So the more you raise it up, the more you unhook the rear end, the more you drop it, the more you put side bite in the car and the more split you put in it, the more it'll unhook the left rear getting in and pin it on the right front to make it turn. As long as you don't get stuck on the right front and lose all your drive on exit, that's my best, you know, answer for now as far as why I would move the track bar around or why I picked the heights I would use.